Hi everybody, it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. So for Topic Tuesday today, I wanted to finally bring you a, re a review of some of the products that I've been using for well over a month now from Camp Cosmetics. Camp Cosmetics is a company that is located in Glen Ellen, Illinois. Currently, you can only purchase their products um, over the phone or email with them, but they are very helpful and ready to assist you if you're interested in looking at any of these products. So I want to just talk about and talk through and give you some swatches of the eyeshadows and the blushes and the lip lavas that I have been given so kindly. So this company was is started by a man by the name of Michael and he and I have corresponded quite a bit. He is amazing. He's so funny. I really get a kick out of him. And he started this company after being in the business for years and years and years and just really wanted to have his own products made the way he wanted them to be made. So Camp Cosmetics is cruelty free, which is awesome. And one of the things he always says he's committed to is no nonsense, no tricks. This product, these products are highly pigmented, very easy to work with. I think sometimes highly pigmented products can be trouble. I've talked about that before with some other, it can be too difficult to work with, but these just blend seamlessly into the skin. I'll talk, you know, I'll talk more about that, but I wanted to make sure to let you know that they are cruelty free and that these are just super highly pigmented. He has just the highest standards for his products and I can really tell that in, in my usage of the products. I mean, hands down, I love these products. So <laughs> that, that first off, let's just get that all out of the way. I really enjoy, I love these products. I think they are great. I think he has a great band. He's been in business for about since about 2003, if I remember correctly. So as I said, you can only purchase these over the phone or via email. He'll ship internationally. You just pay the shipping fees or whatever. So since he doesn't have an online website currently, I, th I mean, he has a website, but not one that shows swatches and that sort of thing. I really want to make sure that I give you some good swatches. So that's what a lot of this video is going to be, is me swatching the different products. I'm going to start with the largest category that I have, and that would be the eyeshadows here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some swatches and then I will give you the names. I will of course left list everything below and I will list it in the order in which I show you. Hopefully that will be helpful for you in going back. I'm also going to try to list the name here for you so that it's just a little bit easier since you can't kind of go look up swatches elsewhere. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is Virgin and this is a matte, gorgeous, Highlight. See how it looks scarier in the pan than it does on... So I have that on my brow bone today and it just gives a very nice brightening of that brow bone without being too stark or too light. The next one is RoboVamp and it's a satin and it looks like it's not all that unique here. When you wear this, it has this really interesting pink shift to it. The next one is Countdown, and that is a frost, one of my favorites. I really like this one. Great all over the lid color. There. Just gorgeous. The next one is Fresh, and that is a frost. It's a great inner corner color. Right there. It's a nice sheen to it. So this one is Educated, it's a frost, and it's like a deepened olive khaki green color, right there. You can see how that, while it has kind of that blackened to it, it still keeps its khaki color, where a lot of those colors, I feel like once you actually swatch them, they don't come off like khaki anymore, they, you know, they kind of just look like black. This color is Banshee and it's a frost and it's so pretty. Look at that. Ugh. You know, I've these this these colors have made me wear green a little bit more. I don't always wear green. Look at that. These are so smooth and super long wearing. I have I have been really impressed with how these shades wear throughout the day. They don't they don't crease on me at all. I use the same primer combo as I always do. Um, but even with that, some shadows will, will crease on me, and these ones don't. They just last forever. And then this is Grind, and it's a satin. This is a relatively unique color, I think. So it kind of has that 
olivey undertone but with a gold it's like a gold shift with an olivey kind of undertone this one I should have started out with because it's one of my favorites and that is in dusted and it's a frost and it's a gorgeous taupe gorgeous I can't I can't mm. so pretty nice sheen without being too much sheen I think that's one of the things I like about his frosts is that while they have a sheen and they have you know a frost to them they're not like crazy reflective in the dark <laughs> frosts this I think is one of one of my top colors in all of these and this is in decline and it's a satin it is so mm, pretty just look at that I just want to put a little more on this this satin comes off like a whoops I have a little extra there comes off um, you know more like a matte and just so when you have some sheen on your eyes and you really want to you know add the matte because you don't want to add more sheen oh it just it blends so beautifully and adds such a neat color and stays true to this color again I think that's something that I have found with other shades or other other brands with this sort of shade is that it loses this color when you apply it to your lid and that one does not at all at all. This one is Couture. I have this in the outer third of my eyes today. And that one is a frost as well. There it is. Look at that. It's just has a night it's a it's a warm brown with some bronze to it. I'd have to look to see if I have anything exactly like that in my collection. I don't think that I do. While this shade would look good on anybody, this is what I have on the inner third of my lid today, and I think particularly green eyes and blue eyes this is gypsy and that is a frost that's one swipe oh really I just like that is just a great summer color great summer I color I think it's voila and that is a matte this is a really interesting color it's almost like a mustardy kind of you know it reminds me of that Mac color I don't have it but that Mac color in was it Ultra if I remember correctly again I don't have it so I don't know for sure but I forgot to wipe my swatch off so there is that it's very interesting nice transition color to get add a little something different to your look this next one is hands down my favorite matte brown in my collection right now, hands down, beyond a shadow of a doubt. And this is Conviction, and it's a matte. It is just that perfect brown to use in your outer corner. That's what I have in my outer corner and into my crease and beneath my lash line. I have probably used that shade the most. <laughs> just perfect it blends really I it just I don't know what to say that I haven't said about any of the rest of these at this point but it's just a great shadow amazing I you guys know how I love a good deep matte brown and and the, I like that one and it's got some warmth to it there's just a hint of red to it that just a hint not a ton and you I really can't have used it both on cool looks and on warm looks but it just beautiful the name of this one cracks me up this is drama mama and this is a frost beautiful eggplant and again I want to show you guys this you know how this kind of looks like Mac blackberry or whatever but when you apply Mac blackberry you see black and you kind of lose the hint of red or the blackberryness to it do you see how that still has that I just think that's something that Michael has been able to capture that a lot of other companies haven't. That when you have this sort of a shade, usually you, you know, like a blackened blackberry or a blackened olive green or whatever, you you lose the actual color and all you see is black. And he's just been able to capture that in, a, in an amazing way. So this color I've used a few times under my lower lash line and have loved how it looks. And this is the color Seduce. Look at that. And that's a matte 
and there is Seduce on my hand. And this one I have a little bit harder time getting to blend on my eye, but I love it beneath my lower lash line. It really pulls that blue color nicely. The, na the last one that I have for you is his black, which is Blackjack, and it is a matte. And this one you will see stays true to its black. It doesn't go charcoal or gray. And I don't feel like it's the blackest black ever, but I like that. So, for instance, I really like Makeup Geek's black. I can't, Corruption, I think it is. I don't love Carbon from MAC. But so I like Makeup Geek's Corruption, and that is, it's really, it's a nice dark black. But it's hard to use when you're wanting just to add some darkness or dimension to an outer corner because it's too much. This is the perfect black, in my opinion, for me when I'm wanting to just deepen up an outer corner and blend it in and not have just too much pigment. So for me, it's the perfect black to work with for that purpose. Okay, let's move on to blushes. The first one I want to show you is this one in Glam Puss. And this is a frost blush. This is so pretty. It's kind of like that bronzy. It's like NARS Luster amped up a little bit. So I'm going to give you a finger swatch and then I'll give you a brush swatch next to it. Okay, so there's the finger swatch and then there is the brush swatch. So you don't have to be afraid of it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but look at the pigment. This is also gorgeous as an eyeshadow. I have really enjoyed wearing that as an eyeshadow as well. And you can just see the pretty sheen, but not crazy pigmentation. So even if you blend, even if I blend this out, a little more pigmented, let's blend it out. So if you were to put it on a little bit darker, just really, really pretty. So of the blushes that I have, this is my favorite one, hands down. This is Disco Days. I've been wearing this a lot lately, and this is what I'm wearing today on my cheeks. And then I have something over the top that's giving that the sheen, which I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. But this is just, and I want to show you that, I don't know how to show you, but it doesn't kick up a lot of dust. That's really, really nice. So... There's Disco Days. So there's the finger swatch, which I blended out a little bit, and then there's the brush swatch. So pigmented, I can't even. <laughs> the next one that I have is in Revolution. This is a frost, and I have been wearing this over bunches of blushes as a highlight. You can wear it on its own, but I've been taking a really fluffy brush, which I will show you. This currently is my, um, this is a cool blush brush, but there's like nothing to this brush. So I've been taking this in it and just kind of, you know, going over the top. It's just, it adds just a really pretty iridescent sheen instead of just a basic highlight, if, if that makes some sort of sense. Okay, so finger swatch, brush swatch, and remember that I don't have foundation on my hand. I'm going to just blend this finger swatch out a little bit. So you can see, that's probably a little more accurate. Really pretty. It's beautiful on its own, and as I said, it's beautiful as a little bit of a highlight over the top of a peach blush or a pink blush. The last one that I have to show you is one that I actually, when I looked quickly to talk about it in a video, just that it was on my face, I called it mahogany, but it's actually monogamy. <laughs> and this is a matte, and the reason that he called it that, he, he emailed me to tell me, is because you can use it for, you know, you just need one product is what he's saying. You need it for just, you know, just one thing. You can use it for contour, which is how I've used it today. You can use it as a blush. You can, you know, you can use it for lots of things. The other thing I have really enjoyed using this for is as my um, transition shade. I've, I've used it a lot as a transition shade. So there's a finger swatch that I've blended out a little bit, and there's a brush swatch. It just really works nicely as a contour, and it's the closest thing that I found that I like as well as um, my NYX taupe, blush and taupe. I like this better than the NYX blush and taupe. Um, it, it just blends a little bit easier, and I mean, I realize the price point is higher, <laughs> but it blends a little bit easier, and I really, I, I like using it a lot. So the last thing that I have to cover is their, he calls them their lip lavas, and I have four of them. And I will tell you today on my lips, I have the MAC Lip Liner in Spice just kind of all over my lips. And believe it or not, I have a combination of these two because I didn't want it quite as bronze and I didn't want it quite as pink, so I combined the two of these on my lips, and I really, I like it, I, I gotta say. So the first one is this pink one. 
And this is in Sex Drive. And what I like about this one is that it's creamy, but it has a little bit of sparkle to it. And I just, I don't feel it on my lips. So I really like that one. This one is Trist. I've probably worn this one the most of all of them as a topper over many different things. So, sorry, let me show you that. It's very, it's like a peachy base with some golden glitter in it. It's have a doe foot applicator, by the way. Sorry, I didn't show you that right off the bat. So that is Trist. This one is so cool. I've worn this a couple of times, but I'm not brave enough to wear it on the regular. <laughs> this is in Lady Pimp, and this has its red base, and it has iridescent sparkles in it. Kind of multi-dimensional. I wore this a couple of times over Max Cherry Lip Liner. So there that is. I'm going to get that really close. Hopefully you can see the glitter particles in that. The last one that I have that I think I'll wear probably a little bit more in fall is in Catwalking and that's a complete cream. No shimmer. No discernible shimmer anyway. But it's just a really pretty kind of nudie mauve. So there is Catwalking. So I think I've told you mostly what is what is on you know my face today and I'll have the foundation and everything linked below but I wanted to tell you the eyeshadows that I used and how I used them. I kind of used a combination of Fresh and Countdown on my inner third and as I said I used Gypsy on my middle third <laughs> of, my, of my eyes. I used the shadow in Couture on my outer third. And then I deepened everything up and underneath my lash line it used this matte and conviction. And I did also take a little bit of gypsy underneath my lash line as well. That about covers the eye. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that it was helpful for you to see the swatches. I know that it's not the easiest to purchase from them because you can't go online and see swatches. But again, I hope this was helpful and that you'll give these um, give this company a look. I really think that they're great people behind the brand. It's a great brand. The good quality products cruelty free. I just, I'm, I'm really excited about this, this brand. Again, these products were sent to me, but there was no obligation. He just wanted to send me the products and wanted me to try out his, his line. And I just have been so excited about it that I really wanted to do a video for you guys on them. You will be seeing more camp cosmetics for me. I will be wearing them and talking about them and getting more stuff. I'm certain that I'll be buying some things from the line. I do have some other products. I wanted to just talk about the color products today. I have a couple other things that I'll talk about down the line, but this is what I wanted to get you guys started with today. If you have any questions at all, please list them below. I will do my best to make you know the the swatches and the labels and everything as easy as possible for you guys to see but so thank you guys so much to, for watching Michael thank you so much for trusting your products in my hands and letting me do a review of them I just I really I'm appreciative and honored and humbled so thank you guys so much I hope that you're having a great day and I'll talk to you very soon bye